Morning, guys. Uh, Mark from Polish and Wax here. Uh, just doing a quick demo of uh, pre-cut uh, from Swizzer. Um, this is a scrap bonnet. It's been used on loads of training days, so there's very little paint left on it. In fact, it's probably not a good bonnet to be using. You can see there's strike three in various areas. Uh, it's probably not a great bonnet to be using for demo. However, um, it's probably one of the hardest paints uh, we have out of the, the scrap bonnets we have sitting at the unit at the minute. So I thought I would give it a crack anyway. So we'll, so we'll go jump in there, uh, inflict a bit of damage. There's a thousand grit. 2,000 grit. Already some deeper defect in that from our brush marks. As you can see, it's quite dusty because those have been used. So give us two seconds and I will quickly blow off. Panel isn't prepped properly or anything. This is just a quick demo, so um, you can see there. Deepish defects. Sorry, I'm focusing. Anyway, listen, I'll, I haven't got the camera holder with me, so not fully prepped today. Uh, but I'll put this over to the side while I'm working on it to try and show you that there's no trickery. This product is designed really with body shops in mind. We are trying to remove sanding marks. Uh, it's not something that we would use on factory paint very often, just due to how aggressive it is. But it needs must. Very good. Personally, I find keeping the speed fairly low is a better working technique mm -hmm. on, on the majority of teams. And just to try and describe what's happening here, this is a diminishing compound, so it cuts very aggressively to begin with, um, and then starts to peel off in terms of the cut. However, with the whole visor system, uh, it is ideal that you work it uh, properly. So, uh, sorry, this pad has just been washed, so we're getting a little bit of moisture just coming into the pad there. Um, should have dried that off properly before this, but the track on. Mm-hmm. 
Hopefully you can see those Austin. Bring the camera over here just to show how this ship looks. Sorry for the shakiness of it here. And remember, we had this uh, strike through um, at the start here, so excuse that. But that's looking like there's hardly anything on the panel, it's just a greasiness. This is how far you should be taking this system. There's no dusting to it when you're using it correctly. Um, it should go absolutely almost fully transparent that you're starting and you can see the metallic to come through so wanted to shot stop at that stage just to show that slickness that is what you're looking for when you're working this correctly however i'll just pop this back over sorry again for the amount of movement on my hands in the way Free cut isn't designed to be a one-step system. It's very, very rare that it will be a one-step system, so I, I would always suggest refinement. Refinement, just for speed, um, I, I will use the um, uh, fine cut here. Um, that's how easy that should be to remove like that, with this system, okay? Um, if I bring that over just with that wiped off, in fact, I know there's some uh, that would suggest that this fills uh, massively, so uh, just to avoid that, I should add an extra bottle that sitting. There we go. And panel wipe there. I'll not even do the fine. Uh, uh, you, most people will know themselves that uh, with that aggressive kind of uh, removal, that most most will need a, a refinement. But I will just show you the finish here, just from a one-step rotary. Um, let me try and focus on that one-step rotary, and that's the kind of finish. Yes, there is some defect still remaining in it, and it does require a little refinement. But this is the clarity that you should be seeing when it's used correctly. Just try and focus. There we go. Okay. So, just a quick demo. Hopefully, that's a help to you guys. Um, as I said, ideally, you would need to go in and refine this. But I wanted to be able to show there's a thousand grit, two thousand grit, a couple of uh, deeper defects thrown into the mix. Uh, just to show you how quickly that is. I think in total we're about eight minutes there. That's with me chatting and showing you the, the defects beforehand. So you're set generally about five minutes. Hopefully that's a help, guys. Thanks for watching.